Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. So today I want to, um, I don't want to say attempt because I kind of know how to do this. I'm going to make some Vietnamese coffee um, using a traditional fiend filter. Um, this is like a, I, from what my dad's told me, it's like a traditional French style, I think or something like that. I really don't know the history behind it. I just know it tastes good and I'll show you how to make it today. All right, let's get to it. Oh, before we get started, consider subscribing if you haven't already or if you are subscribed, welcome back. It has been a while. All right, let's get into it. So today we're going to be using coffee from Win Coffee Supply. I just recently learned about these people and got to support my own people, right? Smells good so far. So this is their loyalty uh, line. Let's see, let's read a little bit about them. Win Coffee Supply is a people-centered coffee company dedicated to lifting up stories of the global grind. <laughs> Our mission is to increase the visibility of Vietnamese coffee and promote social, cultural, and economic sustainability. We work directly with producers in Vietnam to import green beans and roast in Brooklyn, New York. Together, we're changing the game. That's tight. So I didn't know this, that Vietnam is the second largest um, I guess distributor of coffee beans in the world next to Brazil uh, so that's pretty cool so anyway this is their loyalty line I think they have two other ones I forgot what they're called this is just a mix oh actually it says right here so 50-50 of Robusta and Arabica I hope I'm saying that right so it's half and half of what their other two lines are I thought this would be a good balanced try out just to see what it tastes like if you guys want to check out their Instagram I'll link it into the description and then support local businesses let's open this up oh, boy. oh come on okay I think I need a scissors hold on let's try that again Tones. It's good. Good smelling. I want to see how this tastes as like an espresso. But we're not doing that today. We are gonna do Vietnamese coffee. I've never grind Vietnamese coffee before, but I learned that it's supposed to be a little bit like a pour over finest, but not quite. So we're gonna have to experiment here. Hopefully it works well, otherwise this might turn out crappy. So now we're gonna weigh out, is that coffee? We're gonna weigh out, I'm gonna do, let's do like, mm, I'm gonna do like 12 grams. No, that's not enough. I'm gonna do like maybe 18 grams, 18 grams. Now. 
So, with Vietnamese coffee, you have to use one of these things. This is a fiend. So, I, I'm pretty sure this originated from France. Vietnam was colonized by French at one point. That's why there's a lot of... Uh, well, that's basically where the, the Vietnamese alphabet came from was because of the French. Before that, it was, it was a lot like Chinese writing. Um, traditional ancient Vietnamese, I guess you can call it that. But uh, yeah, all right, so let's, let's put that to the side. I'm gonna grind this. So my Poralex mini grinder, it goes all the way to, well, it does espresso grind. So right now I don't need it that fine. I need to go to like close to um, uh, pour over. So I'm gonna dial that to like eight. Well, the instructions that came with this says nine to 10, but I'm gonna do a little bit less than that because you want this to drip slowly. That's what I remember my dad saying is just drip slowly. Yeah, that's eight, all right. Okay. So I learned this trick recently. If you spritz your beans before you grind them be less likely to have static and they won't stick to the bottom of the holder which does happen to me so swear that over. Okay. 18 grams here we go all right my passport pass this this may not be as interesting to see me grind. Oh. So with Vietnamese coffee, you can drink it straight black, which some people do, or you can do what a lot of restaurants do, which is they add a little bit of um, sweetened condensed milk. So I'm gonna do that because I actually like Vietnamese coffee sweet, not super black. Otherwise, it just straight up tastes like an espresso, but not good. Okay, let's do... Okay. So, the Fiend comes with this little press plate thing and it's like punched out on the bottom here you can see that there's just like holes just punched out and this is basically your filter and your pour over apparatus so I'm just gonna pour my coffee in there hopefully that's ground enough Top. and some of them are made with like thread so you can screw them in some of them are made without it um, you don't have to do either one it's just the weight of like keeping it down so I'm just can't use the, the weight of that okay I'm just gonna pour it in there there's like a blooming period seconds and then we'll continue pouring oh, okay I think that's a fair amount of grind or I guess a fine enough grind it's dripping slowly but not too fast it's kind of what you want you don't want to go too fast either or you don't want to go too slow either because then if it's going too slow no water is going through and it might be over uh, extracted
So the whole process should take less than like 10 minutes or less than five minutes. So normally you would drink this with ice because it's a lot of coffee and it's a lot of sugar. So you want ice to kind of balance it out, but I like it hot, so I'm gonna drink it hot. Let's see how this tastes. Oh man, that's good. That is good coffee. Yeah, it's not, it's not too strong. It's like the perfect amount of bitterness and nuttiness, I guess you can describe it that. Yeah, it's, it's not sour either, which I hate the taste of sour coffee. I don't know why people like that. It's just weird. I mean, to each their own. Um, this is not my cup of coffee. So, yeah, if uh, you guys ever want to try to do this, that's basically how you do it. Just got to get yourself one of these. One of these. And then, get you some Wind Supply Coffee Company. Or, <laughs> Wind Coffee Supply. Yeah. Check it out. I found them actually through Instagram, but I've heard it from um, other people and stuff. And they were featured on uh, uh, shoot, what was it? Drew Barrymore's talk show. It was um, the founder, Sarah Nguyen, and uh, Drew talking about it. But yeah, this is good. Cheers to them for doing this. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and stick around for more coffee videos to come. Peace.